All right, guys, here's the video tutorial for creating your pirate ship, which is the SketchUp Basics assignment. Remember all the memes about Professor Katz being famous? Well, there she is. That's Cloud. We sometimes call her the Toxic Rain Cloud. Depends on what her mood is. She's a 14-year-old, five-and-a-half-pound cat who thinks she's the most vicious murder machine on the planet. We call her the mini murder machine sometimes, too. All right, so here we go. We can create the, you can see my laptop. I hope you can see the whole screen there. Bye, Felicia. She's gone. So we're going to start our pirate ship by creating a rectangle that's 8 feet 6 inches. You can just start drawing, and then you type 8 feet, comma, 6 feet, enter, and there you have a rectangle. Now we're going to draw a line from the midpoint that's 3 feet long, and then you can just kind of complete this line and delete these little areas in the center here so you have one basic shape. Then go use your push-pull tool and start in the center and start pulling it up. Uh, you want to pull that up one foot six inches. The other way to do that is to simply move that up so you can see the bottom of the screen until you're about one foot six inches, close enough. All right, now we're going to scroll around until we see the underside of our ship. So you can use the mouse wheel or you can use the tools to scroll around to see the underside of the ship. And then we're going to select our offset tool, which is in the same area as the push-pull tool. And we are going to offset on the underside of this ship one inch around the edge. So again, you could kind of adjust that so it's one inch, or you can simply type one inch, hit enter and now you've got one inch, except I didn't actually want one inch, I wanted one foot. So we're gonna try that again. All right, here we are in the center, one foot. That's what I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space here. Now I'm gonna use my move tool. I'm gonna use the move tool. Now, if I hit control as I'm moving it, it will make a copy, which is what I want it to do. So I wanna to start to move and then hit control. And now I'm going to hit the Alt button, and that will keep it, hopefully. No, it did not. There we go. There. Hit the Alt button. And move it down um, three feet. Keep it on the blue axis. Move it down three feet. And there you have the beginnings of your ship. Now I'm going to scroll back around now. So now it kind of looks a little bit like the hull of a ship. Now scroll back around so you can see the top. And now we are going to use our offset tool one more time. And we are going to offset around the edge of the deck. And we are, actually, we are going to use our, find the midpoint here, a midpoint across. Now we're going to offset. No, we're not. Yeah, we're actually, don't pay any attention to me. I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. So we are going to use our offset tool. I lied. We're going to use our offset tool, and we're going to offset around this, and we're going to do it three inches. Now you've got there. Now we're going to find the midpoint of this rectangle on the inner portion here. See where it says midpoint? Draw a line across. If you want it to, you may have to zoom in to find that midpoint again. All right, so you can see I've got my line here in the center, and there's my outer edge of the ship, and there is the center portion of the deck. And we're actually gonna push, pull that down one foot. So move it down, and then type one foot, and it should go down one foot. So now you're starting to see a deck. So now we're gonna use our push-pull tool on this part and bring this up. Um, as you select the push-pull tool, tap the control button, um, if you've got a PC, so tap your control button, um, select the push-pull tool and click the shape, tap control and move it up three feet. And what that does is see how we've got two separate surfaces here? So that's what we're trying to look for. You can do it, there's a couple of different ways you can do that, but what we're definitely trying to do is have these two separate surfaces. Now I want you to orbit around so you can see this front surface again. We're going to go back into our offset tool, and we're going to offset around this area, and we're going to offset that three inches. So we start moving, type three inches, and now we've got that 
offset so you kind of look like you've got a little window in there. Now we're going to use our push pull tool and this should go all the way back until it says either on face or on edge and that should should why did it not disappear? It did this the last time to me and it didn't disappear. There, on face, that's what we're looking for. You wanna find the word on face and then that will make that disappear. Now, we're gonna kinda of scroll around so we can see up top here. We're gonna take a line, we're gonna draw a line from midpoint to midpoint across the top. We are going to use our move tool. Right, there's our move tool. And we're gonna create a roof with this thing. So we're gonna use our move tool, we'll click on the line it's easiest to do this right here in the midpoint, right? We want to make sure that we're doing this up on the blue axis. So you can see how it moves around, but keep the axis there where it says blue axis. Once you start moving it, type three feet, hit enter. And you can see now we're starting the beginnings of our ship. Now we're going to put some portholes in the, uh, some more holes in the side, and we're going to put some portholes in it. All right, so what we're looking at is scrolling around to kind of the side of the ship. And we are going to use our offset tool one more time. We're going to go into this area right here. And we're going to do another offset there. This one's going to be four inches. So start moving, and then it's four inches. All right, and then what you want to do is go ahead and move that use your push pull tool to move that in again you might have to zoom in so you can see that where it says on face you click and it should disappear so we're going to leave this backside like that and we're going to, now we've got kind of a window that we can see through our our ship all right now we're going to work on creating some portholes and hopefully going to try to show you a couple of tricks on this so that you can do this fairly simply. All right, so we're gonna select our circle tool, which is buried here in the, with the rectangle. So select our circle tool. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna draw a circle that's a six inch radius. So we hit six inches and there's our circle tool. Now we wanna use our cursor tool and select this thing and then right click and then make a component. And we're going to call this component porthole. And keep check the box that says cut opening on it. All right, you can see a number of check boxes there, but definitely we want to say cut the opening for for this one. And then you can hit OK. It takes a second to think. All right now, what we're going to do is we're going to select our move tool. We're going to grab our little porthole here. And we are going to hit start moving it and hit the control button. And you see it makes a copy. And you can see where the lines are, right? We can bring it around to the other side. Right? And if you tap the Alt button, it didn't actually want to tap the Alt button. Let me try that again. We're going to hit control, start moving it. It goes around to the other side. make yourself two or three portholes on there. That's fine. However many you want. You can do three, four, five, whatever, whatever works for you. So my little ship has, has four different portholes on it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the select tool, right? And we're going to double click any porthole in here. Right, and you see how it changes it? It has some strange coloration there. This puts us in editing mode for components. Right? And this should allow us to edit every single component at the same time rather than doing them all individually. So now I should be able to go to my offset tool. I'm going to cross my fingers. This actually works. And I'm going to click on the edge here. And I want to move it one inch. So one inch. Hit enter and notice it did that with all of them right because they're all components so it's editing them all at the same time 
All right, now we can select the push pull tool and we can bring this outer edge, start moving it out. We can bring that out two inches and then we can bring this inner one out one inch. And notice it's doing them for all of them. So now you have created four little bolt holes without having to do every single one. Now I can select the paint bucket. I can pick any random color. In fact, here's a nice brown that's right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I have to paint the right one. And I'm gonna go then into the windows and glass and mirrors. And I'm gonna pick something that allows me to see through to the ship. So now I've got portholes that are seeing through to the edge of the ship. Then I'm gonna hit the escape button. Why did that not work? Click escape there. Now I'm gonna hit the escape button. And now I should have four little portholes. Don't worry about the other side, that's fine. You can continue on the other side if you want to, but this should be a demo for what, for what you're doing. All right, so now we're just gonna pretend like this is like a play thing and this is you're only seeing it from one side. How's that? Okay, so now we're gonna create a plank. So we're gonna kind of scroll around in our ship until we see this corner. And I'm gonna use my line and I'm gonna draw a straight line across. Don't draw it to this corner, draw it straight line. See how it says on edge and the line is green. All right, now go some distance away, find the midpoint, that's probably good enough, and draw another line. Now I'm gonna use my push pull tool and I'm gonna move this down until I can't. It should say offset is limited, see? Offset limited, all right? That's the edge, but now I can move it again. Now I'm gonna move it down two inches. And I have what looks like a stair on my pirate ship. More importantly, however, I have this face. And I can pull this, see it's gonna say offset limited. Now I can pull it again, two feet, and now I have a plank. All right, so now you've got a ship, kind of a little ship with a plank. Now let me zoom out here. I'll move it over so you can kind of see a little bit. Looking at it from that side, add some colors to it, whatever colors you'd like, something semi-appropriate at least, and uh, you'll be done. And that's the video for creating your pirate ship in SketchUp. Save your work. Submit it to uh, Carmen and you're good to go.